Hello and welcome to another video about Figma's new feature which is auto layout and there are few more things that they have recently added. Uh, so we are going to discuss that a new icon over there anyhow. So let's move to Figma and start learning. Okay, so you can see uh, this is just a three buttons. These are all components and uh, you can see if I select them, there's nothing over here. Uh, auto layout has not been added so you can see over here uh, just the alignment options so I am going to select all of them shift a to create an auto layout frame so this is my auto layout buttons okay okay now as you can see over here here we have down vertical layout like this then we have uh, this layout which is horizontal and then we have wrap so this is very new so you can see um, so first thing is that if we click over here you can see now this icon has been changed okay so this is like that or how it will wrap it will wrap around on the right side or left side so right now I'm going to click over here and if I grab it over here and try to move it like this so you can see they are auto wrapping so if you are designing something for um, uh, mobile apps and web pages responsive web pages or responsive design this can really really help you uh, in your layouts because i had faced some of, some of the times i have faced some problems where you know i have to shift the whole layout just to you know create this effect so if i go back so you can see it start going back now what is actually happening and how we can actually use it now do i really want the container to go below this no i don't want that so maximum width of my button is actually 174 so what i'm going to do is so this is actually the auto layout this is the frame auto layout frame and what i'm going to do is there is another feature figma has introduced that is min width and max width so here I'm going to say that minimum width should be, um, let's say 210, okay. Uh, okay, so it's over here. So let's use it 180 over here. So this is good. And um, I, can, I can also do it uh, over here. So like 280, it's less. So let's use 320 again 400 okay so this is this 390 so this is going to be uh, amazing so let's try to try that and let's try to squeeze this oops so I cannot drag beyond this point because I have set 390 the maximum minimum width so minimum width it, it is not going to go below that you have to keep that in mind minimum width it is not going to go below that and maximum width i think we should maybe we can add over here 600 so add max width let's use 600 over here okay so if someone some developer he actually have my design and he tries to mess with my design like that i think he's not going to go beyond these two values so you can see it actually uh, stuck over here and over here let me show you another use case of auto layout min and max width and this actually works only with auto layouts okay so it doesn't work with frames so here i have a navigation and you can see this is again an auto layout frame and um, what we're going to do over here is first we are going to set add minimum width so i don't want this uh, this whole navigation to squeeze too much so i am going to set it to 1000 so so if i try to drag it from here so you can see at 1000 it actually stucks so this is a very uh, good another use case of uh, auto layout let me zoom in so you can see it clearly so here we have it i can extend it wherever i uh, how, how much i can but at this end it is going to 1000 min width okay similarly uh, i can set the height to and all these stuff so this is a very nice way of you know using wrap in some situations also i think if i 
try to use web i think let's see how it has logo and frame okay so let me see if it wraps so okay so it is not going beyond that so let's try to set it to like um, 300 okay so minimum width 300 okay, so here we go so let's use 290 so let me see if i can squeeze this oops okay so <laughs> the height is 36 so that is why it is happening so if i move the height to a bit um, maximum let's use max height max height to be like 300 Okay, so let's now try this this is really amazing okay still I am getting uh, this one so let's try to use 200 over here now you can see uh, it is happening and uh, the space between top and bottom is too much so maybe I think I should use 20 over here so this is a good example let's try to okay so this is a really, really nice way. You can see the magic is happening in Figma. So now you can see I can easily go up to like 699 width. And uh, this, is, this is a really, really nice use case. Let me show you a bit close up view. So you can see this is how I drag and it goes to like this is right now um, at 1200 pixels this is 1200 and if I want to go back I can go back and once it reaches over here it actually goes wraps and goes in the second line and this is a very very nice and lovely use case of uh, auto layout with min and max width so this is a really really uh, great feature so right now I'm not sure what is happening why I think it should be at the top like this so that is all I hope you have enjoyed this lesson we'll meet you in another lesson till then take care bye bye